TikTok makeup tutorial goes viral with call to action on China's treatment of Uyghurs. Teenager claims video sharing platform is censoring her posts, which TikTok denies. An American teenager who is using makeup tutorials on TikTok to spread awareness of China's detention of at least a million Muslims in internment camps in Xinjiang has claimed her videos are being censored by the platform. In a three-part series that has gone viral on the international version of the Chinese short video sharing platform, Faoza Aziz, 17, begins by appearing to show viewers how to use an eyelash curler. She instructs, then you're going to put, the eyelash curler, down and use your phone, to search up what's happening in China, how they're getting concentration camps, throwing innocent Muslims in there, separating families from each other, kidnapping them, murdering them, raping them, forcing them to eat pork, forcing them to drink, forcing them to convert. This is another holocaust, yet no one is talking about it. Please be aware, please spread awareness in Xinjiang right now, she says, before turning back to the eyelash curling lesson. The post has more than 1.4 meters views on TikTok and has been widely shared on Twitter as well, where one post was viewed more than 5 meters times. The teenager, who has said she is an Afghan-American from New Jersey, claims her account, at GetMephemus Part 3 has been censored in the past by TikTok. Her profile description reads, just a Muslim who wants clout. Got deleted last time. In one video she explains, by the way I say this so TikTok doesn't take down my videos. She posted the same videos to Twitter and Instagram. TikTok has denied censoring her posts. TikTok does not moderate content due to political sensitivities, a spokesman told the BBC. He said the company had banned one of Aziz's videos because it broke rules on terrorism-related material. Aziz has hit back that TikTok misunderstood her videos and immediately suspended her account after she posted content related to Xinjiang. In addition to videos about Xinjiang, she had made comical videos making fun of derogatory comments that she has received, including one related to Osama bin Laden. As a young Muslim growing up in a white community and in a country where your own people see you as outsiders, I grew accustomed with the racism, she said. I had to learn that I should not let these comments get to me and that I can make a positive impact, so that's why I created my TikTok account. I created funny videos regarding the discriminatory comments I face every day. Then I made a new account and it was suspended right after I spoke about the Uyghurs again. I did not get any message from TikTok on why my video spreading awareness was taken down and later on my account was deleted. I highly doubt TikTok's response. I find T for more on this story, visit the news article link.